Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Tanya June Moore. This is Sedona Centric, and we want to introduce a new member of our community. But first, listen. She is an incredible musician, adding to the talent in Sedona. Please introduce yourself. Talk a little bit about this piece of music in particular. Um, hi, uh, well, my name is Crystal Verart. I'm new to Sedona. And uh, well, this particular piece is uh, called Corona de Sedona, uh, which is what I heard when the crisis hit with the coronavirus. And um, so for the first three weeks that we were all in quarantine, I wrote this. It's lovely, I love it, and it's upbeat. And right now, during this um, time, it's nice to have something more and more upbeat in our community. So, what I wanna share is not only that you're new in this community and part of the, the Sedona Love Vortex Circle, but also that you have traveled and lived everywhere. Can you give us a brief history? Mm, okay, quickly. Uh, I started in, uh, well, born in, in uh, the Netherlands, uh, raised there, went to Argentina, uh, Brazil, uh, Mexico, uh, lived in all three places, studied and worked in all three places, met my husband, moved to San Diego, moved to Hawaii, moved to Alaska, moved to Indonesia, and last November we moved to Sedona. Wow! <laughs> I really appreciate people who have like worldliness and this community really fosters that type of worldliness here. And I know that you are pushing your music, which we love because there are so many musicians here in town and you do movie scores, is that true? Uh, it's part of it, yes. yes. One of them is the movie scores, uh, write music for theater, for modern dance, for. You know? Yes. So why music? What, how long have you been doing this? And, and what is it that really resonates with you to tell your story through music? Well, I think I've always done this. That's, that came to me like a couple of uh, months ago. So all of a sudden, it's like, gosh, you know, this was, not, this, was, this was what I was doing when I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. I would make up songs and I would, I would hire my dad and my sister to, to sing a second voice or play a little part to it. And then I went to a conservatory of music, studied piano and voice, uh, classically. And then uh, when I was uh, done with that, I was a performer mostly for, for years, I was teaching. And then um, probably around 15 years ago, I started writing again, and seriously, and you know, and, and it's based very much on the landscapes that I've been exposed to, mm. which is, would make sense. It's almost like um, I gave, was able to give it a home by, you know, by giving all those landscapes, or I a gave place. all the landscapes a, a voice. Yes. Maybe I should say that. Well, just what I'm hearing is lovely. Thank you. I think people in this community are going to welcome you with open arms. That's very true, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And one of the things I want to put out there to the community is say hi. You know, uh, shoot her a message, tell her welcome to the community so she sees how welcoming and loving we really are right now, even during all of this that's happening in our world. Uh, and welcome yourself. I mean, we are welcoming you. We love having you here. And I want to wish you all the luck in the world with this. Thank you. Thank you. I feel so welcome in Sedona. Thank you both. Yay. So let's turn this up a little bit and we're gonna take you out. I'll catch you on the next round of Sedona Centric. <laughs> <laughs> 